Hi guys, welcome to the channel and welcome back to, if you are coming back to, our Disney bank holiday extravaganza. We have just watched our fifth Disney movie because we counted the In shorts. A row. Yes, we counted the shorts as one. Yeah, so the four shorts we counted as one movie. Um, and we're also counting the Hercules film that we watched, but that video isn't going to be on this channel, that's going to be on my Classes Corner channel. Um, and we just watched The Black Cauldron, which I haven't seen in a very long time. No. That is the infamous Disney Vault, Disney PG feature from 1985 that Disney would prefer that none of us remember. I don't know about that. <laughs> Why are you doing it? Yeah, they really don't like it. Okay. It was in the vault for a very long time and it's so not marketed. No. Fair enough. I don't think Disney, I don't think, the cla the reception at the time wasn't particularly well done. No. So, I don't think Disney particularly likes and it, was it very much. competing against Labyrinth. Mm. Which reminded me of Labyrinth. Yeah. Anyway. It, yeah, it reminded me a lot of those 80s um fantasy films uh, that they were doing this is sort of the Disney version of those 80s fantasy films that were trying to be like the fantasy versions of Star Wars. Mm. And this is the Disney version of that. Um, but yeah, it was really good in the way that the animation was really solid, the backgrounds were amazing. Um, but I can kind of tell why it wasn't that well received. There was too much plot. Mm. And certain parts of the plot were dragged out compared to other parts of the plot and some parts of the plot were like why is plot happening i, I felt <laughs> that, i felt that the plot was pretty linear in terms of why yeah. it's happening it's just um it's based on a book series called the i don't know editing chronicles me of something. Prydain? Prydain. chronicles of Prydain. yeah yeah if i'm wrong me correct that in editing but it's, and you can tell, it's meant to be the first two books of this series that's condensed into this, and you can tell the adaptation process in this movie, in that you can tell that there was a lot cut out of the plot, but also that there was a lot kept in of the plot that maybe if this had been an original creation, mm. wouldn't have been there. Like, there's quite a few characters there we met. Now, if you haven't seen The Black Cauldron, um, basically it's in a fictional kingdom which is based on Wales. Yeah. Welsh, yay. Where we which, are. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that later. Yeah. Anyway, um, if it pertain, it's a war torn, which I didn't actually get the first, the, I didn't actually get until now. No. I didn't really get the whole war story that was meant to be going on in the background of this that we. But I it didn't pick that up when I was a kid. It wasn't really like. It was like mentioned, but yeah, then it was not like really, you know, investigated any further. Yeah, it was exposition. Um, yeah. So, War Torn, uh, Taran is this teenage boy? Yeah. Teenage boy, young young boy. Um, he is living with his mentor. Don't know relation, don't know. And he's looking after this magic pig. He doesn't know it's a magic pig. Pig can tell the future. Uh, Horned King, the big bad of this series, wants the pig to find this super weapon called the Black Cauldron to bring the, an army of dead to life. And then they get captured, they meet a bunch of characters, including Princess Lonwyn, the Disney princess that no one mentions ever. Yeah. And a bard. Um, even though I've just watched the movie, the name already escapes <laughs> me. <laughs> that forgettable. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Um, and Googie, the most annoying creature. I don't like Googie. He's he's like an annoying Ewok with a really annoying voice and the voice actor, like it's a little imagine a furry Schmeagol? Look like a little golem creature who likes furry apples. Schmeagol. Like no. it's it's that annoying. Um I yes. used to really like Googie when yes, so I was younger. I. I used to love Googie, but now Yeah, I used to like Googie too when I was now seven. it's just not no. I it's just, it. why is he there, apart from... Failed comic relief, Failed maybe? comic relief and the ending. Mm. It was very clearly based on Welsh mythology with the names and sort of... Even with the background, there was a sort of feel to it. The yeah. sort of art in it sort of worked. And it was the sort of typical um, 80s Disney artwork, which yeah. is really good. Um, 
yeah, the main problems come with the um, the narrative structure, basically, and I think that's part of the adaptation process. Mm. Um, I think there's probably a really good film in there somewhere, and I'm really interested to read the book series, which I haven't read. Now onto the funny Welsh thing. The funny Welsh thing. Uh, the Black Cauldron is said to be pla it's said to be found in a place called Morva, mm. which is a place in <laughs> Wales, specifically um, in Swansea, in, where we are. Where, specifically in Swansea, where we are, and um, it's a shopping centre. It, yeah, <laughs> it's a shopping centre where there is a B and Q, a TK Maxx, a Next, Morrison's, Morrison's, a tennis centre, mm. and, and it's opposite the Liberty Stadium. Yeah. It's opposite the Liberty Stab Stadium where the Swans live. Mm, play. And we refer because they they um the, the band of heroes and they go fall into a pit of fairies because of course they do and they're like oh the black hole is safe it's in Morva and my the entire and the are just like what what <laughs> Frankie and Benny honestly <laughs> it just it just um. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sh more for as a shopping centre in Swansea, but it's also the place of great mystical <laughs> evil in the Black Cauldron. So we got a kick out of that, at least. But then, but then it disappears. It disappears. So where does it go? I think it goes to Trostra. Trostra. <laughs> the other place. Trostra's with... nice though. It's, yeah, but it's the other place with TK Maxx. So is Morva. <laughs> Trostra's nicer though. Trost. Uh, it's Yeah, but still, it's nicer. <laughs> It's nicer than more, but it's easier to get to. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's the only other place with the TK Maxx. Yeah. Also, Trosh is getting a pre Maxx suit. Ooh. Oh, no. There we are. Yeah. So anyway. That's our thoughts on the Black Hole <laughs> Shopping! We're, yeah. If you want a cutlery. <laughs> it's cutlery? What is it? Kitchenware? Kitchenware. Kitchenware. <laughs> then, um, no shopping centre in Wales, apparently. Anyway. Okay, we'll be back uh, with another Disney film soon and we will see you at the end. Okay, bye, bye guys. Bye.